Hi everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. My name is Randy. So recently I received this the Rush CD as a gift. The Rush Remasters is what it says. And I some of the stuff on the CD I've heard like the the name Tom Sawyer. I recognize that. I've heard the song, but I've never heard a live version. So I figured why not watch a live performance as a reaction for this song from the album, if that makes sense. But I intend on doing reactions. Let me know in the comments if I should do reactions for all of the songs on the, or if you think I should do reactions for all of the songs on the CD or just certain ones. Anyway, I'm excited to see how this goes, see it live. I can't remember the last time I heard the song, but like I said, Tom Sawyer comes to my head. Just Tom Sawyer. Sometimes, I don't know. Anyway, I'm excited. Here we go. I like the bounce of the bass. I want to pause it just to say I like the 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 bass so far is my favorite thing because it's got this bounciness to it and also it has like this really like ballsy tone somehow it's got this really deep rough sounding kind of tone to it I like it <laughs> this is very chill. The world is the world is love and life are deep. Maybe I said skies are wide. It's very like so tricky to tie on you in the space. Grave on mushrooms. I wouldn't know. Oh, I like the way that's going in right there. A bass solo. I know. I'm gonna get in trouble for not pausing. I want to pause because, and I could be wrong about the structure of this song, but I feel like there was a verse chorus a verse and then we just had this instrumental break whatever you would call it in the middle of the song it was very unexpected i expected to have another chorus and then probably an instrumental at that point and it sounded like there was a bass solo but i realized the guitarist was playing too at one point so i don't know if the guitar and the bass were both going right then and my ears just picked up the bass primarily but I like that. That's very different. That's very different from a lot of music that I'm familiar with. And then after the 
the bass guitar, then you've got the little drum solo. This is a very like calming song, but without being so calming that it's makes you sleepy. Like it's calming, but it still has an edge to it. Hopefully that makes sense. Drums. The sun will be happy. What do you say about his company? Say about your side of things. Catch the witness, catch the way, catch the spirit, get the space. I know, I'm so sorry. I'll back it up every 10 seconds. If I'm not mistaken, this song is a pretty old song. Um, and that, wow. I wonder what that was initially done with in when they wrote this song and recording, recording it, recorded it. I know that there were still plenty of different tools that could be used to create and record music even in the 70s. I want to say this song is from the 70s. I apologize if I'm wrong. But there weren't as many tools then as there are now. So when I hear that, wow, my mind just goes to, I wonder how they came up with that and what they used for that. Someone today might use it 20 times in one song because someone has already laid the foundation of using that sound or whatever kind of vibe that puts into a song but I would I'm guessing that in the 70s that wasn't a super common thing it just it's different but it works so well and also I meant to say the vocalist's voice he has this um not high-pitched voice but his voice is high like it's it's above everything not necessarily in the specific music key but somehow it's above the other sounds and it kind of cuts above it like a plane flying over the clouds so to speak and I really like that his voice can cut against the music so clearly to be heard and not drowned out in the music that they're obviously older and they're still kicking butt with music. Also, the vocalist looks a lot like my papa, Charlie. I mean, it wasn't super, super close up on his face for a long period of time. But what I did see of him, he looks like my papa, Charlie. My camera's been acting weird. My whole computer has been weird. It's trying to go blurry. My computer messed up today and now I can't sign into whatever. It doesn't matter. 
I just, I'm having a hard time not throwing it out the window right now, but it goes to a lot of money. So let's not. I really enjoyed that. I've heard, like I said, I've heard that song. I knew when I saw the name Tom Sawyer, I could hear just a second or two of music with the word Tom Sawyer in it. So I knew I had heard it at some point. It's probably on, uh, I don't know, Guitar Hero perhaps, or it probably probably played on the classic rock station too. One of those that you hear, even if you're not actively, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I liked it. I liked the, uh, the like girth. I feel like that's such a weird word choice, but we're going to go with girth of the bass with the kind of, I don't know, almost sour brightness of the keyboard and then that warbling and then the guitar. I liked it too, but right now I can't remember a specific melody from the guitar because I was overstimulated with other things where it's like, ooh, shiny, ooh, shiny, except with my ears and music. And I like that the vocalist's voice cut through. And But one of the coolest parts is that this band is obviously in the older age bracket of a, a musical group and that that sounded so good i can't imagine it being better much if at all when they were my age or whenever they first put it out and it's i think incredible to see bands musicians who can you know 20 30 years after they've released something can still make it great or even make it better that's something you almost never see i've seen it though where after let's say 30 years a musician recreates uh revives something older and makes it even better than it was the first time it was really hard to do but that doesn't necessarily relate directly to this i enjoyed it i'm going to stop rambling thank you very much for the cd and the suggestion thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time have a good one mm -hmm.